hello friends in the current video tutorial i am going to talk about a function called threshold 1d array in labview uh, threshold 1d array function is available in the arrays palette in labview uh, threshold 1d array function calculates the fractional distance between the first value and the threshold y and returns the fractional index at which threshold y would be placed within array of numbers or points using linear interpolation so we got this threshold function so this is the threshold function it has got three inputs one is the array input the second one is the threshold y value and third one is the start index so threshold 1d array function it uh, calculates the fractional distance between the first value and the threshold y and returns the fractional index at which threshold y would be placed within the array of numbers or points using linear interpolation so uh, this function has to be used with arrays sorted in non descending order means the arrays should be sorted in uh, ascending order so you can sort the arrays in ascending order using uh, this function in labview this is the available function in labview uh, sort 1d array this sorts the elements uh, in uh, ascending order right so first sort the elements in ascending order or either use this type of array indicator or cons uh, array constant or control which has the elements already in the ascending order now so uh, according to this particular element threshold value the fractional index is calculated so let's go into uh more details about this threshold 1d array function compares the threshold y to the values in the arrays of numbers or points starting at the start index until it finds a pair of consecutive elements such as uh, such that the threshold y is greater than or equal to the value of the first element and less than or equal to the value of the second element fractional index or x is the interpolated result labview calculates for the uh, array of numbers or points uh, one uh, 1d input array so it is the linear interpolation right linearly interpolated result for the fractional index so let's see some example to uh, verify this concept so this is uh, a 1d input array and this is the threshold value and this is the start index so suppose uh, i want to calculate the fractional index for this so calculation is as follows um, for example suppose the this this array and this 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 is already i have explained now the calculation suppose 5 is here so i have to see where the 5 element is lying it is lying at this particular point between 5 and 6 so the index of element 5 is 1 and index of element 6 is 2 right and the distance between 6 uh, and 5 is 1 so 6 minus 5 is 1 and the distance of uh, this threshold value and the element 5 minus 5 is 0 so 0 divided by 1 will give 0 the index of element 5 is 1 so the fractional index 1 plus 0 is 1 so the result over here would be coming as 1 let's run this program so the fractional index is 1 let's see a few more examples so in this particular example um i've chosen the floating point values so since the uh this threshold value is 6.5 so i have to see where it lies it lies between 5.2 and 7.8 the index for 5.2 is 1 and index for 7.8 is 2 so firstly we have to subtract 5.2 from 7.8 so as to calculate the distance so 7.8 minus 5.2 is 2.6 Now 6.5 is the threshold value. 6.5 minus 5.2 gives 1.3. 1.3 divided by 2.6 gives 0.5. So 
index of element 5.2 is 1 and so the fractional index becomes 1 plus 0 0.5 is equal to 1.5 let's run this program so when I run this program the fractional index comes out to be 1.5 let's see one more program so in this these are the elements and I have chosen the um, threshold value as 7 so threshold value 7 lies between 7.8 and 7.9 the index of 7.8 is 2 and index of 7.9 is 3 so I have to calculate the uh, sorry I, I mistakenly explained this thing the index of uh, the 7 lies between 5.2 and 7.8 so um, the index of 5.2 is 1 and index of 7.8 is uh, 2 and uh, I have to calculate the uh, things as follows 7.8 minus 5.2 is 2.6 and um, now 7.5 uh, uh, 7 minus 5.2 gives 1.8 means 7 minus 5.2 minus uh, 5.2 gives uh, 1.8 and 7.8 minus 5.2 gives 2.6 1.8 divided by 2.6 gives 0 0.69 the index of element 5.2 is 1 and so the fractional index is 1.69 let's run this program so the fractional index is 1.69231 lab view has calculated the result to a very high accuracy uh, let's see one more example so here the threshold value is 14.2 and I have to see where this value lies this value lies between 12.9 and 15.5 I have start I have to start from the values uh, at index 5 onwards so index 5 onwards the values are uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the values are starting from 9.1 9.1, 10.3, 12.9 and 15.5 so 14.2 uh, lies between this and so the calculation is as follows 15.5 minus 12.9 gives 2.6 14.2 minus 12.9 gives 1.3 1.3 divided by 2.6 gives 0 0.5 the index of element 12.9 is 7 so the fractional index is 7.5 let's run this program so the fractional index is 7.5 so this completes the explanation of this threshold 1d array function this is in um, uh, relationship to the um, uh, interpolate 1d array function and um, uh, the calculations are similar so uh, you have you can correlate the two functions th threshold 1d array function and interpolate 1d array function and uh, the concepts are similar uh, I hope you have understood this uh, function properly and uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching this video